Hello, Europe is determined and Netanyahu is in real trouble. Europe is united to prosecute Netanyahu over his war against the Palestinians in Gaza. Let's explore this hotspot in Europe at the moment. Let's get started. On October 7, Hamas militants launched a series of attacks across southern Israel, resulting in approximately 1,200 deaths and the abduction of around 250 individuals, many of whom remain in captivity in Gaza. International Criminal Court ICC, Prosecutor Karim Khan has subsequently sought arrest warrants for Israeli leaders, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yov Gallant, accusing them of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Simultaneously, Khan has requested warrants for Hamas leaders Yahya Sinwar, Ismail Haniyeh, and Mohammad Diab Ibrahim al-Masri for their roles in the violence. Khan detailed the severe nature of the crimes committed, including extermination, murder, hostage-taking, rape, and sexual assault. He emphasized that Israel has the right to retrieve hostages but must adhere to legal standards. But before we continue if you're enjoying this briefing please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you, let's get going. In response, Hamas condemned the International Criminal Court. ICC's actions, asserting a wrongful equivalence between Palestinian resistance and Israeli aggression. They call for arrest warrants against Israeli leaders, officers and soldiers for their alleged crimes against Palestinians. Netanyahu and other Israeli officials vehemently denounce ICC's decision, with Netanyahu labeling it as a political outrage and insisting that Israel's military actions are legally justified and conducted under strict moral codes. Similarly, opposition leader Yair Lapid and other Israeli figures express their dismay, emphasizing Israel's right to defend itself and criticizing the perceived moral equivalence drawn by the International Criminal Court ICC. The international reaction has been varied. The United States and Israel, not members of the International Criminal Court ICC, dismissed the warrants with President Biden and Secretary Blinken rejecting any comparison between Israel and Hamas. France highlighted the humanitarian crisis but stopped short of fully endorsing Khan's actions. The UK criticized the timing of the decision, stressing it could hinder conflict resolution efforts. Human rights groups and Palestinian organizations generally welcomed the ICC's move as a step toward accountability and justice, while some argued that the charges should also encompass genocide. This International Criminal Court ICC, action follows a historical context with a prior investigation initiated in March 2021 into alleged crimes in the Palestinian territory since June 2014. The International Criminal Court ICC, created by the Rome Statute and based in The Hague, operates independently with 124 member countries obligated to comply with its decisions. If arrest warrants are issued, members must extradite the accused to The Hague, significantly impacting the international mobility of the Israeli and Hamas leaders involved. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.